Hey guys, welcome to FP29 Breaks. And today I'm going to be doing an informative video on some of the young guns to get in this upcoming Upper Deck Series 1 2020-2021 release. So Upper Deck has been keeping their checklist uh, pretty tight over the last uh, couple months. They haven't really released any news or confirmation on whether or not Lafreniere was going to be in the set. Although it's been speculated, nothing has been confirmed by Upper Deck until now. And unfortunately, Lafreniere's name is not on that checklist. Just kidding! Of course he's in there. Otherwise, there's no way people would be buying Upper Deck Series 1. So yes, Alexei Lafreniere is going to be in this year's Upper Deck Series 1 set. So get your wallets out and get ready to start buying some boxes. So other than Lafreniere, the other big name to pull is maybe um, one of his partners on the line, Vitaly Kravtsov, who was the ninth overall draft pick back in 2018. He's got uh, definitely uh, some really high potential to be a really good goal scorer. Um, he's got all the skills, all the tools, the height, the speed. Um, this could be another Crosby and Malkin in the making. Um, who knows? But uh, the Rangers are definitely stacked. And they got a ton of good prospects. Great goalie. Um, all they need now is uh, some real good solid defensemen. And they're going to be a cup contenders for, for the next few years. But other than those two guys, um, I just wanted to go over five other rookies in the Young Guns crop that may... You know may sneak in there um, they may be under the radar and uh, they have some really good potential to do some damage uh, this year in the NHL so the first two guys well the first guy is Nick Robertson and if you're a Leaf fan you all know about Nick Robertson uh, had a cameo last year uh, in the bubble um, he led the OHL in goals last year with 55 goals in only 46 games and he was a second round draft pick uh, in 2019. And although he's a little bit undersized at 5'9", he has shown, you know, great uh, scoring instincts. Um, he's got some real good speed. And if the Leafs decide to ship off um, any one of the fours on the top six or maybe one of them gets injured, Robertson will definitely uh, get some time to, you know, show his abilities, uh, maybe get some power play time as well. So that's uh, number one on my list. Uh, number two is his brother, Jason Robertson. So he was a second round pick as well in 2017 from Dallas Stars. And unlike uh, Nick, he's a lot taller. He's six foot three, but he's not uh, not a natural goal scorer like Nick. He's more of a playmaker. And uh, he also had uh, an amazing junior career. Uh, he's racking up the points and uh, with Taylor Sagan out for almost half the year. Robertson may get a chance to play in the top six for Dallas and uh, you know have a good productive year. So he's a guy to keep an eye on. So the uh, so the first two guys are the Robertson brothers. Number three is Gabe Velarde of the LA Kings. He was drafted 11th overall in 2017. So he had a cameo of 10 games uh, last year, and he really produced well. He had three goals and four assists for a total of seven points. So, I mean, he, if he had uh, kept that up for a full season, uh, he may have had a good chance to win Rookie of the Year. So, Gabe Velarde of the Kings, um, you know, Kopitar and uh, Dustin Brown, they're getting kind of old. And so, Velarde will definitely be giving the keys to the offense very, very soon, if if not already this year. Uh, number four, I'm going to go with a defenseman. Owen Beerum, who was the fourth overall draft pick last year by the Avalanche. And uh, he's an offensive defenseman, just like uh, Kale McCarr. So, I mean, if you pair him up with McCarr, then, um, you know, the Avalanche could have one of the best dynamic pairs on the blue line. So they are stacked at the blue line with offensive defensemen. Um, they have pretty good... Uh, Goaltending and solid weapons up front. So Colorado is definitely a team on the rise. So watch out uh, for Bowen Birum. He's one of the 
newer breeds of uh, offensive defensemen coming into the league that are taking over, uh, like Quinn Hughes and Cal McCarr. So he's a guy that you want to watch. And the fifth guy is a goalie, Connor Ingram of the Nashville Predators. He was the 88th overall draft pick back in 2016. And um, I feel Ingram has a really good chance to uh, play some games this year. Um, maybe be a backup goalie in case something happens to Pekka Rene. Because uh, Rene, he's uh, 38 years old. He's on his last legs. This is probably going to be his last year. And uh, you Soros, I mean, he he's a good, solid goalie. And he's still young at 25. But uh, he's a little bit undersized at 5'11". Um, he's not signed after 2021. So um, the Predators may give Ingram a look. He's definitely got the size. He's a big guy. Uh, Six foot two, and he totally dominated the AHL last year. He went 21, 5 and 5 with a 1.92 goals against average, 0.933 save percentage. So, I mean, he's definitely proven that uh, he can dominate at the AHL level. So, all he needs now is a chance to uh, show that he belongs at the NHL level. So, definitely keep an eye out for Connor Ingram. Um, yeah, so those are five guys on my watch list, um, guys that I'll be going after after um, Lafreniere. So, yeah, let me know what uh, other prospects you guys are looking to get, um, any insights on uh, any of the guys I also talked about today in the comment section. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys have some disposable income getting ready to uh, spend on some of these packs and boxes coming out next week. All right, talk to you later.